What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It is Saturday over here. Bitcoin currently at about 26.9K. Not doing too much today since it's, it is the weekend. It usually doesn't do too much over the weekend, but it does look like we have a bearish weekly candle closing. That's closing in about a day. Very important to be paying attention to Bitcoin right now because if Bitcoin continues pulling back, to about that 25K level that could take quite a bit of these altcoins down with it. However, if Bitcoin is able to reclaim that 28K area, that is gonna look a lot better for the altcoins in the short term at least. So we're gonna be taking a look into what Bitcoin could be doing. What are some possible scenarios into the charts? Of course, the main topic here will be about AVAX, Avalanche token, see what has gone on in this market. Had some recent movement lately. Is it a fake out or is it an actual breakout here? And what to expect uh, on the chart here. I'm going to be going over some upside and downside price targets for AVAX as well as some key price levels to be paying attention to in order for this coin to break either direction. I'm going to be giving you guys my personal opinions and what I'm personally doing in the markets later in this video so make sure to be staying around for that of course none of what i'm saying here is financial advice it's purely my personal sentiments opinions and speculations i am not a financial advisor nor am i an elite trader of any sorts even though i am a profitable trader who's been able to keep most of my profits during the last bear markets and i'm looking to crush it here for the next bull cycle so if you guys are feeling pumped if you guys are feeling the same way on this Saturday morning, hit that like, hit that subscribe button. Let's get right into it. All right, so we're going to dig a little bit into Bitcoin here first because it is my first post of the day. And usually on my first post, I will do a more detailed post on Bitcoin because like I said, it is the driver of this crypto markets, what it does could majorly affect how the altcoins move. Now let's come over here to Bitcoin. <clears throat> All right, come over here to the weekly time frame here, right? So since, um, so this is the big picture, right? This is the medium, the medium term I'm looking at. It's the double top pattern here, right? I've been talking about this for the last couple of months. It's been playing out very slowly, right? This double top pattern is what I consider to be the medium term. Definitely want to stay away from this neckline and confirm a breakdown of this, which would be about 24.7K area here, okay? Price action, Bitcoin here has been able to stay away from that so far, okay? So that is at least looking good for the moment. Come over here to the daily time frame. And I think even the, uh, we're going to have to go over to the smaller time frame here, right? Or even smaller, so I can get three wicks touching on uh, the upper trend line. Okay, I mean, I, th I thought I saw three wicks touching when I had the upper trend line there, but it is either a developing or a, um, it is a developing, uh, um, rising channel pattern here actually yeah so that's that's basically is still a very rough sketch on this lower time frame a possible rising channel here it is not completely developed okay that's what i spotted since i think about yesterday come over here to the daily time frame and then we can see that we got quite a bit of attempts to break above this daily 200 sma which is at about that 28k area i've been talking about very strong resistance. However, Bitcoin has not been able to get above that. Okay. Now, um, what I am looking at here is a falling channel pattern. Okay. On this four hour time frame. And this is usually a bullish pattern. Okay. I think I'm going to have to go down to two hour to get three candlesticks touching. That's, I'm very OCD with that, so bear with me. Okay, so we have a falling channel pattern. Okay, that usually breaks to the upside, but you are also within a 
rising wedge pattern on a on about the four hour time frame here, or even the two hour time frame. So I can get three candlesticks touching or very close to touching. Okay, so right here, we do have a rising wedge pattern, but we have a smaller falling channel pattern within the rising wedge pattern. So question is, right now, is the price action here able to get another swing to the upside of this rising wedge pattern? Okay, and possibly break out of that rising wedge pattern. Okay, uh, not to the bull's probability, of course. Rising wedges typically break to the downside. Okay, if this rising wedge breaks to the downside, we do have a measure target. Um, that's based on if it breaks out as of Thursday next week. That's just the random date, so I can get a measure target. It could be sooner, it could be later, or it could even break to the upside. However, if this rising wedge breaks to the downside here, we do have a measure target of about 23.6K area, okay? Measure targets are estimates only. Take that with a grain of salt, okay? So that's basically what I'm looking at. Uh, definitely don't want to see this. Rising wedge play out for Bitcoin. Uh, watching out for this falling channel pattern to at least break to the upside and take another attempt to at breaking this upper trend line. Not, you know, the probabilities are not in favor of, you know, the bulls breaking out of this rising wedge, but let's see if it actually can do it. Okay, so that's basically what I'm looking at um, from the short term to the medium term here, right? If you're an altcoin holder, you definitely don't want to see Bitcoin break down. Now, let's come over here to AVAX. Let's talk about this. Since last time, I did mention that there was a falling wedge pattern here. Okay. I think uh, this was even apparent on the three-day time frame. Okay, falling wedge pattern, usually break to the upside. Okay, this one looked like it actually had a break to the upside before getting rejected and going back into the pattern here. Now, let me see if I can actually rechart this falling wedge pattern. So in my opinion there, it is a huge fake out. Okay, price action broke out, went as far up as about almost 12 bucks before getting rejected by the 3-day 50 SMA. Probably some other moving averages too. You got your three day 50 SMA, your weekly 21 SMA at about there at about $12. That was your resistance. However, price action did fall back into the pattern there. So let me see if I can rechart this. Yeah, I mean, this is still a falling wedge pattern. Um, so when you get a fake out, what I usually do is I will adjust the trend lines and see if it still fits a the form, the same form as before, okay? I mean, it's going to be a you know some variation of the previous form, but it is still a falling wedge form, right? You have a wider opening uh, closing up. Uh, as the channel closes up. So that is still a falling wedge. Now let's go ahead and take another measure move here. I don't have to adjust the measurements. I'm going to put it near the end of the pattern. Okay, that would be as of the three-day candle of November 18th. Not saying that it does have to break out by then, but you know, I'm just using it as a uh, as a measurement, so I can get a measure target. That will give you a measure target of about $21 area. Let's take a look into some key price levels to be paying attention to in order for this coin to break back to the upside. You're going to have a 3-day 21 SMA right above the price action here, uh, just right underneath $10. 3-day 50 SMA where you got rejected, that is at about $12. 3-day 200 SMA, about 24 bucks. That's coming down. Repeat the same exercise for the daily time frame, weekly time frame, and monthly time frames. Looking at these major moving averages, at least these are the major moving averages that I use. 
okay? You guys can use whatever moving averages you guys want, okay? Just do what works for you, okay? Now, that's how I look for key resistances and supports. Also going to be taking a look into previous trading history on the daily, monthly, daily, three-day, weekly, and monthly. Those are the bigger time frames I consider in terms of moving averages and previous trading history for key supports and resistances. You guys can take a look into whatever time frames that fits how you guys trade or enter the market. Now let's come over here to the monthly time frame and look for some key supports here. Okay. Come to the monthly time frame so I can get a cleaner look. And we're basically at a key support right now, as you guys can see from the previous trading candles here, June 2021, July 2021. And that's about $9 area. If this part does not hold, if this support does not hold, the next key support I am looking at here, based on past trading history, it's going to be based on these group of candles here, right? Coming from September 2020 to December 2020, which is going to be quite a bit of a way down at about $5 level, okay? So definitely want to see the support hold. Otherwise, at least based on uh, previous trading history, it's going to be 5 bucks. okay? Probably can still bounce within this pattern as well. So if you guys have it drawn out like this um, and agree with what I'm saying, then you guys can also probably see possible bounces along this bottom trend line. Okay, so that's basically what I'm looking at. Um, now, what I am doing in this market is I am considering liquidating all my spot longs and just focus on leverage trading. I've been doing leverage trading for the past couple of weeks and have been getting more consistent results, especially in a market like this where Bitcoin is just ranging. Uh, so we don't really have a trend to uh, hold on to spot, right? Um, so I am going to be liquidating all my longs on spot and concentrating on leverage trading. Um, I trade both ways, okay? So especially where uh, Bitcoin is in a tight range right now, okay? But like I said, you know, um, if Bitcoin is still above that 24.7K neckline, in the medium term, it still looks bullish, but if Bitcoin actually breaks this 24.7K, then, um, you know, it's going to it's gonna look like it's going to break down towards this measure target here of about 20, uh, of 17,000 area. Okay, that's the measure move of the breakdown of this double top pattern. That's basically what I'm looking at. Um, if you guys want to see more of AVAX, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Letting me know that you guys do want to see more updates of AVAX. I will bring you guys an update if enough of you guys want to see it. Also, let me know what you guys are doing with this market. Are you guys trading, holding? How's market trading you? What are you guys trading? Let me know. Thank you very much. Have a good one.